I am so happy to be in your meets virtually, and I really feel sad that I cannot be with you physically because my flight from Kolkata to Dimapur via Guwahati has been cancelled at Guwahati, which was unexpected. But we, uh, this has happened sometimes, and I thought Tata Company having taken over Indian Airlines, I will not be facing this cancellation of flights. So I regret that I cannot be with you physically. But the wonderful part is, after the COVID-19 pandemic, the virtual world has become much more accepted worldwide and it has become an authentic way of reaching out to each other. And so here we are, I am in Guwahati airport and I, I can see your program from afar. And although physically I cannot be with you, I am grateful that we share this opportunity to congratulate the graduates of Tesla College. Now, this is your fifth graduation program, and I really felt that it's a wonderful opportunity that your college has given me. And I really wanted to be with you today, but because of my works, I have been, uh, I was needed in Kolkata, and I thought I would be with you by 2, 8, 2 p.m. at least today, but here we are, and I want to share with you some of the thoughts that I thought will be good for the graduates of Teta College. And I want to congratulate you all again, because as you graduate, you will be not only shaping your lives, but you will be shaping the future of Nagaland. You will be shaping the future of our world. And I want to tell you that today we live in a very exciting world. You know, the times, times have changed. And so as you graduate, I want to encourage you people to look beyond what many of our people normally look at, and that is government jobs. Why I say this? Because, as I, as I said earlier, times have changed. And you would see that as part of modernity that our society is facing, connectivity is one that is going to change our world much faster than what we have seen before. There was a time when it took about four hours for people to travel between Kohima and Dimapur. Today, one can do it within 75 minutes. For me to go to Aswan, Aswan, Mizoram, and to give a talk, I have to necessarily invest five days. But for me to go to Bangkok, it would require hardly three days of my time. That's what connectivity offers. That's a solution that connectivity will bring forth into your world. And so connectivity comes in when economic activities improve. Your generation will be seeing a lot of connectivity issues being solved in your lifetime. And so you need a new future. And that future I would like to share is to encourage you to look beyond government jobs. Our Nagra society has been limiting ourselves to government jobs. We have about 1,44,000 Nagas employed in the state establishment. 
This gives us about 12.5% of the population being employed in the state establishment. When it is only about 2.8% for India as a country, Nagaland stays at 12.5%. But that means that everybody is going to get a government job. We can ask ourselves, is government job the best job? You can ask yourself, what are the other opportunities that you see now and what you will see more in the coming years? And I want to encourage you that we need to look beyond the four walls of government jobs. Our society, church, family may think otherwise at this point of time, because if you get a government job, there is a lot of applause, there is a lot of celebration, but I want to encourage some of you to think beyond this stereotyping of what we call opportunity and jobs. Some of you definitely have to become entrepreneurs. Some of you have to become intrapreneurs. Some of you will have to become self-employed. But I want to encourage whoever can dream and can put the effort and sacrifice. I want to encourage you people to become an entrepreneur. Interestingly, in Naga society, we seem to be confused what is entrepreneurship and what is livelihood. A lot of times in Nagamis, we say, and when we don't get a government job, we say, well, we have to do business and we have to take care of our stomach, literally. Now entrepreneurship is not about pet palibol again. Entrepreneurship is to generate income, is to generate opportunities, is to generate jobs. And I want to encourage some of you, if any of you can be an entrepreneur, Please become one. Do not think or do not limit yourself to being a shopkeeper. I want to encourage you people to think of how entrepreneurship can generate minimum 100 crores for you in a year. If you cannot imagine 1,000 crores revenue in a year, it would be a shame for any of us to introduce ourselves as an entrepreneur. We can be a micro businessman, but we have fallen short of what the entrepreneurs should be. So I want you to dream that if you can be the drivers of our economy, please do not limit yourself to a government job. If you want a government job, very good, go for it. But as I said, the world has changed and the world will change further. In the next 15 years, the time taken from Dimapur to Thailand will be as much the same as Dimapur to Shirong on the road. Connectivity will change. Connectivity is improving. And if we take up business, the whole world is our market not the Mapur shop site or Kohima shop site. We cannot limit our understanding of business to that of what our society defines a shopkeeper. You can be a shopkeeper, but you're not an entrepreneur. You can run few retail outlets. You may be taking up entrepreneurial activities, but that's not entrepreneurship. I want to challenge some of you to become the drivers of our economy and that define a new future for like us. In fact, some of you should take up the challenge of providing best connectivity business, best connectivity services in Northeast and particularly in Nagaland. I would be very happy to see some of you owning jets and connecting the entire region, as well as doing business across the world. 
some of us think that if we get a government job, we get a secured life. I want to tell you, your security is in your good self. And if you think that government job can give you income, I want to encourage you that there are better incomes, much more beyond the income than government job. And that comes from business, that also comes from working with companies, you becoming entrepreneurs, not just entrepreneurs. And I want to encourage you people, as you graduate, to look beyond Nagaland borders. The world is out there for you to grab it. Believe in yourself, give in your best, work hard, read more books, and become very rich. If you can become rich, you will be able to give much more to society. And that is what entrepreneurs should be doing. I would like to see the young graduates of Tetra College today becoming philanthropists, becoming industrialists, becoming business women and business men, not just for Nagaland, but for the world. I want to congratulate you all today that if you decide to become very rich, Nobody can stop you. If you want to limit yourself to just seeking a government job, that is also your decision. And so, my friends, as you graduate today and step into the new world, I want to wish you the dazzling world of business. The prosperous business world and I want to encourage you people to read and know more about our history and be proud of our history for any person who knows one's roots become much more confident when it comes to facing their future you have the world open for you become very rich. I would like to see hundreds of you to be having a revenue balance sheet of more than at least, at least rupees 100 crores in a year. And if you can dream that, and if you can sacrifice and work for that, I tell you, you will be able to achieve it who did less than 10 years. And that is why you live in a very interesting time. The amount of wealth that can be generated today is far more than what people 20 years ago could imagine. It's much more than when I graduated in 1994 could imagine. At that point of time, our generation we thought one leg was big money. Perhaps 20 years ago, people thought one crore, rupees one crore was big money. Today we know 10 crores is no more big money. And one million dollar is no more big money. You young people, as you graduate, I wish Many of you become multi-millionaires and I hope some of you actually become billionaires. And don't tell me it's difficult. If you can imagine yourself 20 years from now, 15 years from now, 10 years from now, to generate a business with a balance sheet of rupees 10,000 crores annually, then you are definitely a billionaire. And you would be employing minimum 15 to 20,000 people. And that is what the management department of Tetra College can challenge you today.
So as you graduate today, you have my best wishes. The world is out there for you to grab on. Do not limit yourself with the traditional mindset of the Nagas, seeking only government job. If you want, go and face the exams and grab it and give in your best to serve the government and to serve the society and bring hope to this world. But if you decide to be an entrepreneur, not a shopkeeper, again, I want, I am stating again that the, the entrepreneur and a shopkeeper is very different. The shopkeeper does some amount of entrepreneurial activity, but is what we call pet palibo like The entrepreneur is someone who will shape our future by generating income, wealth, opportunities, and jobs for thousands of people. I wish some of you generate thousands of jobs for our people and show us that wealth and opportunities are created out of business ideas, out of developing useful products and services for the society and for our world. Thank you so much for your patient hearing. And once again, congratulations to all of you. And I hope and pray that some of you become billionaires of our Naga society. That is what you will be providing hope for us. Thank you so much. Kuk Dalim.